Right then, this is just a quick road test video for a Renault Clio, and it's the 1.6 Initial. Uh, this particular car is registered RJ07 YSA, and it's covered 132,740 miles. The reason we do the videos is basically so that people actually get to see the cars we're advertising actually in operation. It is rare, however, that I do um, videos on the older, what we refer to as the trade cars, the part exchanges uh, which have come in. Um, and ordinarily I wouldn't have a soft spot for a Renault, they're just not, I don't know why, I've never really got on with them. But I have thoroughly enjoyed driving this car. It's a really cracking car to drive. So I just thought I'd do it uh, whilst I had five minutes. And engine starts straight away every time. Uh, settles to a lovely smooth, even idle. Uh, but it's a very smooth and sweet sounding engine. Uh, pulls really nicely. There's no warning lights at all on the dashboard relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Uh, I'll check the temperature gauge in a minute. I've only, literally only just started the car and it's uh, freezing cold this morning. So once it's up to temperature, I'll, I'll show you that. Um, but as I said, the engine pulls really, really nicely um, and very well matched the car. It's not, it's, it never really struggles. Um, clutch on the car, lovely and smooth in operation. Um, uh, it bites nicely. Uh, it's got, it just, you know, it just feels nice and easy to operate. Um, slick it's not doesn't squeak or judder or anything at all uh, gearbox five-speed gearbox um, again compared to Renault gear changes of the past which I've um, from going back to the old Renault 5 that my dad had many years ago but it might have just been a bad example this is lovely and slick in operation um, all the gear changes really nice um, and, and it's and very precise which again is something I wasn't used to but it all feels very very good indeed Steering on the car, really lovely actually on the Clio. Tracks dead straight by the way, there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit. Um, but really nice, very accurate, nicely weighted. It makes the car nice, feel nice and sort of secure on the road as well. Um, and again, the car just can't feel any obvious wear in the steering. It just feels, you know, you turn the wheels, it all goes exactly at the same time. Um, there's no um, there's no sort of vagueness about it which you sometimes get with cars older cars with a higher mileage the chassis of the car which is one of the things I like about it most it's just such a easy car to get on with it rides really nicely it's very smooth um, but it's also got lovely body control um, it's just really good and it's, it's good fun to drive right? and I've I said I'd um, I've got a, another car on, on route to me for my own personal use, so I've been kind of without a car uh, on a regular basis for a week or so, so I jumped in this, and, and I said I really enjoyed driving it, and, and, and that's really unexpected if I'm honest as well, so I might as well say that because you know, I'm a Honda person through and through, but uh, this just has really kind of charmed me, it's just it's a lovely thing to drive. Um, just get around the corner there's no kind of nasty noises from the suspension by the way when it hits a bump there's no kind of chattering or any knocky noises underneath it at all it feels very tight and, and solid on the road the brakes just gonna wait to get around the corner really good brake pedal on the car um, i had to hit the brakes quite hard the other day and it put it very responsive you've got a lovely solid brake pedal um no juddering no pulsing on the brake pedal at all either and it pulls the car up nice and straight it doesn't sort of pull sort of violently left or right so it's uh, again the braking seems very good on the car but i think the chap had spent quite a bit of money recently on certainly new discs and pads possibly new rear pads on the car as well inside the car i mean again i was astounded to know that they actually did a clio with this um level of specification because i just thought you know it's just a small car you know they'd have a top of the range but nothing with the kind of equipment this thing's got um it's uh, you know obviously full leather inside and it's all in really nice condition i've not cleaned it it's exactly as it came to me but it's in very nice condition nice coloring inside the car and actually very well put together there's no squeaks or rattles from here you can hear something from the rear parcel shelf every now and again um but you know, that's neither here nor there in all honesty but the whole car feels lovely and uh solid um big panoramic roof obviously that adds loads of extra natural light to the car which is really really nice as well um but very comfortable lovely driving position great visibility um 
it obviously got climate control system on the car um, it's keyless start keyless entry uh, which is really really nice as well um, got cruise control you've got a limiter you can put onto it as well to limit your speeds there's all sorts of gizmos which I've probably not scratch the surface of what it's got available to it but um, just a lovely car as I said at the start of the video the point is actually to be a bit critical of the car when we're doing these test drives there's nothing that fundamentally flags up whilst you're driving the car at all it just drives very very nicely indeed uh, temperature gauge by the way now is sort of just above a third so that's I, I'm guessing that's where it should be on a car of this type and it never goes above that in, uh, in, in daily use um, as always though if you've got any questions about the car you know please don't hesitate do give us a call